Today, I'm going to show you some of the best ways to prompt ChatGPT 1.5 to create some awesome images like you can see right here, for example. And it's really easy to generate these. And the other crazy thing is from what I've tested so far, it actually generates better and nicer images from Nano Banana in many cases. So you've got Google's Nano Banana and then you've got ChatGPT's image 1.5 update. And honestly, the images coming out of ChatGPT 1.5 are actually better in many ways. You can use it to create, for example, like UGC as well. Well, and then you could turn those into videos. You could create Facebook ads, YouTube thumbnails. You can automate all of this. And I'm going to talk you through some of the best ways to prompt it, plus some example prompts. And I'll be giving away all the strategies and techniques inside the AI Success Lab, which we'll come on to in a minute. All right. And the way that I look at this is it's got five pillars, right? So clarity, figuring out what the image is about, contrast, what makes the subject pop from the background, context. Where does this image live? Is it a thumbnail? Is it an ad? Is it a social media post? What perspective and quality level do you want? And then what action do you want the viewer to take? All right. So for example, here you can see with this prompt for the Nike Air Jordan silhouette. It looks insane, by the way. You can see the quality on the actual of the rain and like even the floor and everything like that. Plus, like the neon and everything really stands out. It's got a nice vibe. If you want to see how we actually prompted that, let me run you through. So we actually said a Nike Air Jordan silhouette constructed entirely from dark thunderstorm clouds with tiny lightning bolts crackling through the soul and switch logo floating free free above wet city pavement reflecting the lighting cinematic poster movie style dramatic underlighting from the reflection electric blue and purple color palette and then some rays through the cloud material right and you can see here that we've got the image generated here's another one that we generated it's kind of like a movie poster and i'll come on to some ways you can automate this for business as well to help you and uh, you can see this kind of cool movie poster that we built it's called the last algorithm and what we said here was a glass skyscraper melting like candle wax its floors drooping and stretching toward the ground whilst office lights still glow inside pedestrians walking normally below here we go create a psychological thriller movie poster a hooded figure stands before a massive wall of glowing code cascading like the ma matrix but the code is forming into human faces screaming the last algorithm right dark teal and orange color palette volumetric fog imax format right and then you've got the image right there and it looks pretty awesome to be fair let's have a look here if we actually copy the link over here and then we open this up in a new tab we can see an example of what it looks like and it looks super nice right and it's really easy to automate these so the other cool thing about this as well is it tends to be faster and better versus nano banana so we'll test the same prompt inside nano banana and uh, chat which i've actually done as you can see with this one right so this is a banner that we created kind of like a facebook ad that you could use for advertising that sort of thing and if you have a look at this like it doesn't make sense quite so for example you've got like white text on a yellow background so it's really hard to read the white letter is a bit messy you can see the space in as well so if you were a designer like that would drive you a bit crazy but also you're just going to get less clicks less attention by creating images like that right if you're using nano banana so let me show you what we actually did on chat gpt to use a similar sort of thing and you can see we use exactly the same prompt but the output was like literally 10 times better, right? It looks way nicer. As you can see, like even the details here. So for example, like yellow text on the black background. And then when you've got the line divide, you've got black text on the yellow background. And then also the white font is actually bolded with a shadow if that's the right way to explain it versus this one, which, you know, looks pretty bad. So you can see the difference in quality between chat GPT 1.5 image updates, which you can see right here versus Google Nano Banana. And it's really like the first time I've truly looked at how to use chat G images properly, because I think it's a very underrated tool. I think most people are not using it and it's crazy powerful. All right. You can also edit this as well. So you could say, okay, use brighter, more colorful, contrasting colors, something like that. And then you can quickly edit it as well, but the speed at which it generates is way faster. So it's pretty awesome. Now, I'm going to show you some examples of what I'd recommend when it comes to actually prompting with this. So number one, when it comes to generating those images like the Air Jordan one that we did earlier, number one, you want to layer your concepts, right? So combine two unexpected things. Think, for example, Renaissance and tech, for example, something like that, old and new, and then specify the lighting. So for example, like volumetric fog or golden hour, a certain types of lighting, etc., and transforms, that literally transforms the lighting from like very basic to really cinematic. You can add emotional stakes inside the narrative. So for example, like last et etc., and then request specific art styles. So mixing styles. So for example, you could do Ghibli meets Blade Runner, for example, to create really unique 
aesthetics. And then you want to include like the tiny details, as you saw in that first prompt. So dust particles or coffee stain or cracked screen to add realism and interest. All right. And so if we go back to ChatGPT now, you can see that it's generated a new version. I actually don't think that looks as good, but you can see how you can quickly edit images and that sort of thing. Also, the quality is super nice. So quite often I notice with Nano Banana is that when it's generating these images on Nano Banana, quite often it's like low res or low quality. And then you have to go back and forth with it and say, improve the quality or improve the res, etc. Burn says, is it worth to buy a subscription only for image 1.5? It depends how many images you're creating, right? But the thing is, if you're getting faster and better images and you don't have to go back and forth with the AI as much, then for me, like I value my time more than the cost of this subscription, but it depends where you're at and where you're at with your business and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's a really powerful way. You could use this for YouTube thumbnails, actually get clicks. You could use it for Facebook ad images. You could do like product mock-ups. You could do UGC style content that doesn't like scream this is fake and you could also use it for like social proof graphics and that sort of thing so it's really cool now if we go back to my image prompting guide the other thing that i would say here is try and generate two to three variations as well you're not always going to get what you want like perfect and then also if you're doing like ugc ads for example let's say you're running an e-commerce store that sort of thing you need some ugc creative you always want to be adding like the type of quality so for example if it's a ugc ad you use a generated like selfie or something like that just put iphone camera quality or authentic phone camera footage inside the prompt to avoid like it looking over polished for product shots as well i'd recommend making sure that you specify product label is clearly readable otherwise chat gpt is going to make the text a bit blurry if that makes sense here's another one so if we go back here let's go back to this one so this is a thumbnail image that I generated and literally what i said was youtube thumbnail for this right it inserted the name of this live stream similar style to the attached and then i attached the style right here and then it gave us an image right here i'd still go back and forth with chat gpt a little bit more and generate two or three versions to see which one i like the best but it's, it's quite easy to generate like youtube thumbnails as well using this process too so it's getting really good now if we go back here for faces as well you would add something like natural skin texture with visible pores to avoid like the waxy face problem and then for testimonials include like small imperfections like slightly messy background or natural flyaway hairs and that sort of thing to just sell the authenticity of that all right so here's how you can generate like these ai avatars so if we go in here, we're going to use a prompt. We said a 32 year old woman holding her iPhone at selfie angle, excited expression, blah, 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 right? iPhone front camera quality, natural skin texture with no retouching, soft daylight, blah, 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 right? And then we'll plug that in and we'll start generating the outputs as you can see. So it's beginning to, to create the image. It's a lot faster than it used to be as well. And then you see, you've got like this very realistic looking selfie image right here. And it like, even the quality of the image, it feels and looks like an iPhone. The other thing you could do is if people are generating UGC with this sort of stuff, you could always go over to Nano, well, to Gemini, Google Gemini. Then you would scroll down to create videos, and then you can plug in the script that you want to generate the video for. So for example, you could say, okay, generate a video of this woman talking about favorite skincare product, right? And then go from there. Bernan says, that is crazy, dude. Yeah, it's pretty insane. The other thing I like about it is it's quite fast. We could do a speed test in a second of Nano Banana versus Gemini as well. So if we do a new chat here inside ChatGPT and also Gemini. The other thing I like as well is usually with Gemini, you have to click generate image to get an image out of it. Otherwise, it will just generate a text response. Whereas with ChatGPT, it automatically figures out that this is for an image. And so it's generating the video for that. We'll come back to that in a second, all right? So we can also do these sort of call out banners as well. Let's try that out. So product on the left side of the frame, right side has clean icons with short text call outs. This would be like a very basic Facebook ad that you could use or banner image and that sort of thing. So if we plug that into chat GPT, and then we're going to use Nana Banana and we'll test which one creates the image the fastest. All right. So you can see here that you don't have to select images for it to pick up that this is for an image, right? It understands what an image is, what an image prompt would look like. So Nano Banana tends to take quite a bit longer to generate the images. And in the meantime, let me show you this one as well. So this is like quite cool for just generating surreal sort of cinematic images. So for example, like an astronaut in a dusty white spacesuit standing before an ornate Victorian wooden door. And you get the notification once this image is created as well. So if we have a look, here's like a, a clean, basic product image that you could use, for example, for a sales page or that sort of thing, especially if you're in the e-commerce niche. If we have a look here, you got an example from, from Nano Banana as well. 
and then it's pointing. To be fair, that's pretty nice as well. They both generate nicer images. GPT tends to generate images faster, but yeah, both look pretty cool. So if you can use these image stylings as well for Gemini as well. So you can use the same sort of prompting style, but here's like a kind of surreal cool image that you can see right here but using the same sort of methods. So it's pretty cool. What I've actually done is I've plugged in a 30 day plan with prompts day by day. So you can see how to use this stuff, how to implement it, etc. This is a 30 day prompting plan for you to master chat G 1.5 images, right? So if you want to learn how to use this stuff, etc. for example, you can just copy and paste this prompt, go over to chat, generate the image like so of the AI avatar video. And then you can go from there. If you go back to Gemini as well, we've got the video that's ready now here as well, using that image. So you can create images and then create UGC videos from that, as you can see. And there she is. That actually has audio over the top and you can see that it's inserted the skincare product. So we said, for example, I'm generating a video of the woman talking about her favorite skincare product as we specified in the prompt. And then you could use that for e-commerce. So you could just plug in an image of a product, plug in an image of whatever you want to promote and then go from there, right? And then generate videos as well. Let me show you another example. So if we take, for example, let's take the book from my website, as you can see, we'll go back to Gemini, right? We'll take the image of the lady and then we'll take the image of my book. Let's copy that image. All right. And we'll say, okay, generate a video of this woman talking about the book and how good it is, right? And then it should insert that book into the video with the image of the AI avatar as well. Vernon says, where can I ask the page you're following the instructions? So if you want to get the instructions from today, you can get that inside the AI Success Lab, link in the comments and description, or just go to chat GPT and say Julian Goldie AI Success Lab. This is a community with 43,200 people completely free. If you go to the classroom here, then you go to January 2026, new automations, you actually see an extra free video tutorial that I've created for you, all the links and resources from today. And then also I've walked through the framework that we use for prompting, as you can see, and then we've given you a 30 day challenge for really learning how to build and create with this stuff, right? Also, if we go down here, what I've actually added is 100 prompts that you could use when it comes to actually generating stuff inside your business, right? So for example, like YouTube thumbnails, you've got, for example, Facebook ad and Instagram ad prompts professional and corporate stuff, product and photography and that sort of thing, right? So pretty much any category of prompt is inside there, right? Here's another example. So this is the prompt from the 30 day plan. And you can see you can easily generate these sort of selfie images that look very realistic, but of course it's fully automated with AI, right? Pretty insane. So you can have a look here, right? And this is the video of the lady talking about the book and how good it is. And then if we have a look here, we'll play this video back. And you can see that she's holding up my book, right? So it says Julian Goldie on the book. That's like a lifelike video of my book. And you can see we just use that from like a 2D photo, right? Little 2D photo right there. And if we scroll down here, you can see like she's, it looks very realistic. It looks very real. It looks pretty cool. And how easy was that to generate? Just a couple of clicks. And then you can download that and use it how you will. So that's it. You've seen how to generate like product images, how to generate videos, how to generate avatars, and then turn them into avatar videos and UGC content. I've given you a 30 day plan for learning this stuff and also an extra video tutorial, over a hundred prompts and that sort of thing on how to use this. But there's so much stuff you can do with this. It's absolutely wild. Let's run through some of the limited beliefs. I know some people say text in images never works right, but I think GPT image 1.5 has solved the text problem. For example, if we go back to some of the stuff that we generated earlier, right? So for example, this one, you can see that the text itself has rendered nicely and it's all spelled correctly as well. And so this used to be true, but I think GPT image 1.5 has really changed that. And I've generated loads of images with this stuff and it seems to have evolved and unlocked that capability to generate text correctly. Other people are going to say creating content visuals with AI takes too long, but you've seen how quick it is. It's faster than Nano Banana for using this. And I really value my time. So that helps a lot too. And then other people say I can't compete with brands that have design teams, but I think AI is the equalizer. Solo operators or smaller entrepreneurs can now create images at scale, produce a lot of content, and then you can iterate on this as well. Right. So you can design, you can describe the edit. So for example, for this, if you said make the background yellow, you can easily edit the image, change what you want, etc. Right. You can also select different areas of this. So you could change the background and then just based on your selection, you could say, okay, change the background to a waterfall, something like that. And then it does it pretty quickly as well. And then you can easily insert these videos and that sort of thing. So really powerful tool, very underrated. I know Chatty, it doesn't have a good reputation, especially with 5.2 that just came out recently, but you can see how easy it is to edit images, create them and the outputs are super nice. And you can 
prompt in so many different ways. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get the video notes from today, that's inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments in the description. This connects you with 43,200 people interested in AI. You can post inside the community, lots of people introducing themselves and that sort of thing. Also, if you go to the classroom here and then you go to this section, you'll get all the video notes from today. And additionally, if you haven't already, check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is really how we take stuff like ChatGPT for 1.5 images and then turn it into something you can actually use for your business. For example, here you can see inside the community, we have a daily accountability check-in where you can join the accountability group, hold yourself accountable to getting everything done that you need to. You can also share your wins as you can see right here. So for example, like Darren became an Etsy star seller in January, it's pretty amazing, like congrats to Darren. And you can see, for example, Sandra posted about how she's feeling accomplished by all the stuff she's done. So you can share your wins. These are people actually getting results with AI. You can share your goals, you can ask questions. And then you probably haven't seen this already, but we have 109 pages of testimonials from people getting results with AI based on the stuff that we show there, right? So you can see, for example, Tino is talking about how we're the real deal. You can see Clint is getting results with this stuff. Elsa saying how the community is next level. There's 109 pages of wins like this from people just getting awesome results with AI and the AI profit boardroom. So feel free to check that out. Link in the comments description. Also comes with four coaching calls per week and also all of my best playbooks and strategies for using AI. So if you want to learn AI from start to finish, you can get access right there. If you struggle with overwhelm, we have a focus protocol inside the AI profit boardroom as well, which helps you solve, for example, it helps you solve the problems of shiny object syndrome that come with AI. Also, we have an agency course. So if you're an agency or a freelancer, you want to get more clients, you can study that. And then also we have AI SEO automations and a full YouTube AI roadmap. So you can get that all inside the AI Profit Boarding link in the comments description or just go to AIProfitBoarding.com.